Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about the JBL Tune Bud. Yes, people, I finally got my hands on their latest Tune model. I'm super excited to be putting these to the test. These things have an amazing 10 millimeter driver. They have the ability to push out that pure base. At least that's what JBL says. We'll be testing that for sure. Not to mention the fact it has amazing battery life. Super, super amazing. And they've upgraded the case from the previous model. So we'll be checking that out for sure. Not to mention the fact that these things have some amazing noise canceling on them with four different noise canceling ports on the earbuds. So that is two on the left, two on the right. So in this video, I'm doing a hands on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said buds. After that, I'm going to be putting these bad boys to the at home Lucas test to figure out are they something you should buy or maybe skip altogether. I'm here for you. So I have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, let's take a look at these bad boys right quick. So up at the top, you have the name of the company, JBL by Harman. Pure bass, zero noise. That is what's up, people. There's an image of what's to come in the box. Active noise canceling, crisp, clear calls with four microphones. That's what's up, people. These are the Tune Buds Perfect Fit. That is awesome. You have 48 hours of battery life, people. That's 12 hours in the buds and 36 hours in the case. That is next level for sure. This, of course, works with Apple and Android. All right, let's take a look at the fast charging. 15 minutes equals four hours. That is bananas, people. ANC is 10 hours plus 30 hours in the case. ANC off is 12 hours plus 36 hours in the case so that gives you a good understanding of ANC on versus off all right let's get inside this box people okay so you got all the info on the bottom you have your case in the middle and your earbuds at the top let's go ahead and take a look at the case first okay this is very interesting I just reviewed the tune 130 noise canceling uh, case basically the same type of earbud. They're, this is just the next gen. Uh, and the case is so much different. It's completely flat on the back right here. You have your USB-C at the bottom right there. Let's go ahead and flip the lid. Ooh, that's, that's a pretty strong spring right there. Wow. Yes, people, that is quite strong. All right, take a look down there. That molding is pretty strong. There's no molding at the top. Give it the flip. Oh, it does not have the flip. Oh, there it goes. It really does not want to flip. The magnet is quite strong. You got your three indicator lights right there. All right, so let's talk about fit and finish. So this is really, really slippery, uh, kind of a little bit on the too slippery side. Definitely something that you might drop quite often just because it's not textured enough and it's kind of rounded all over the place until it gets flat on the back right here. I like how they have JBL tune on the back. They don't, they didn't do that on their previous earbuds. Uh, very fast. You can just tap it right there and it flips open. That's really cool. All right, let's take a look at the creme de la creme. They're kind of hidden inside of this clamshell right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. So these are basically the exact same as the Tune 130 and C's. Um, basically the exact same, yes. So that's interesting. The case is a complete new design. Uh, whereas the earbuds are the exact same, maybe a little bit lighter weight. Uh, so let's take a look at the front here. So this is the capacitive touch. This is where you're gonna be tapping your play, pause, skip, and ANC on, ANC off. That's your noise canceling right there, beefy port. There's a second noise canceling on the back right here. And then you have your two microphones, one microphone right there, and then your second microphone tucked away there. You got your charging pads and your beefy 10 millimeter drivers are inside of there. Whoa, this is an oval. Okay, so that's a departure. Wow, that is beefy right there. And I think the shaft right here is a little bit smaller. So this is tighter in this area right here. Wow, look at that oval, that is amazing. So that's gonna send a little bit better sound into your ear than a circle. It's also gonna make it a little bit harder to get these silicone tips on. Oh, wait a minute. I think I just did it first try, wow. Okay, so they did a good job on these silicone tips. Um, these are super nice. There's enough cushion and enough give, yet it's kind of solid in the core right there. So that's really good. Um, but yeah, so first impressions, these things look 
really, really nice. I just reviewed the previous generation. Um, and yeah, so it'll be really nice to see how these things actually sound and how much better they've improved on the noise canceling and all that fun stuff. So first impressions, these things are really sleek looking, really nice. Uh, the two-tone is not as good as the white and gray. I like that a lot more. Uh, the blue is kind of a little bit on the uh, slightly cheaper side. So nonetheless, let's see how good they fit in the case. All right, let's drop them in. Okay, kind of a little bit on the uh, interesting side. They come out, my finger is scraping this lid. So they kind of messed up this case. The previous uh, design was way better, I think. Um, and also my finger is scraping back here. So that's interesting. It's, it's more open in the front and less in the back. I don't know why they did that. Maybe because there's more battery in here, but that's weird. Uh, the magnet is a little bit stronger. Yeah, you really grab the back of the case right there when you go to get them out. I'm sure you'll get used to that, um, but that definitely is not as good as their old case. That's weird. I would say JBL go back to the old model, the old design, way better. This is super slippery. Your finger hits the, the top of the lid when you go to pull it out. Your finger jams into there. So whoever designed this did a poor job. Um, that is not good. Yeah, way, way more difficult to get it out. <laughs> weird magnet is definitely stronger the magnet here is definitely stronger um, but it also releases really fast when you just touch it right here it's interesting um, yeah it's not gonna pop open if you bump it which is nice so that's good the lights go off really fast okay first impressions I don't like the case as much as the last uh, model it's kind of strange I don't know why they designed it this way it might be a little bit cheaper uh, you can actually see where the plastic is molded right there. Oh, you can see where the plastic is connected all over the place. So yeah, this is definitely, I would say, a little bit cheaper um, in my eyes, I would imagine. Yeah, but let's hope the sound quality and bass and noise canceling is top notch. Uh, let's get into this review, people. All right, I'm fully suited up and ready to take these bad boys on a nice run. I like the fact that they match everything I have, which is basically just all blue. Um, they fit in the ear really snug. They're locking in tight. Uh, the last pair did dip down in the front a little bit, but like I said, these feel a little bit lighter. I'm gonna be listening to some music, going for a run, and as we know, running is jumping in motion, so we're gonna be putting these bad boys to the bounce test to figure out, are they gonna lock into place? Or are they gonna fall out and become horrible? Uh, that way you don't have to buy them like I am and have that same trouble. So let's get into this run. Okay, these things definitely did a good job. Um, they're a little bit lighter weight than the last pair that I reviewed, the 130 NCs. Um, they locked into place a little bit better, just a little bit. Uh, the sound quality, of course, is absolutely amazing. The noise canceling is primo. I did not hear hardly any of the cars going past me, which could be dangerous, but I was running straight into traffic, so it worked perfectly. Um, but yeah, definitely one thumb up yet again, because they don't lock into place. I'm sure if I was running for a little bit longer with more sweat, they would have fallen down even more. So one thumb up, just not two. Okay, just got these bad boys paired up to my iPod right here. This iPod is packed full of some high-res audio files, so we're gonna be doing some strict music listening. Yes, people, we're gonna test for bass quality, we're gonna test for highs, mids, and lows, and figure out exactly what these earbuds have to offer. So this is crucial right here. Let's jump into the music iPod test. Wow, that was next level, people. The bass quality in these bad boys is truly five out of five stars. The sound quality is truly five out of five stars. And the noise canceling is definitely five out of five stars. I was actually sitting right next to my air purifier on level four, which I call turbo mode, um, <laughs> screaming loud. I had my head so close to it and I could not hear the freaking 
air purifier at all, not to mention the fact my kids came in at one point and were making a lot of noise. I could not hear anything and the volume was not even past the halfway point on the iPod. I was absolutely blown away. Truly amazing. If you're in a loud environment, like an airplane, a train, you're doing construction work, you're welding, something like that, uh, doing landscaping, these are the buds to buy right here, people. Unreal. Five out of five stars. I'm blown away. Okay, just got these bad boys paired up to my Fire TV stick right up there. We got my projector. We're going to do some 645 by Beachbody. These things were impossible to get connected to that Fire TV stick. Um, the Fire TV stick is a little bit difficult, but JBL needs to update their ability to just quickly switch and connect to other Bluetooth devices and go into pairing mode. There's no ability to hold down any buttons to go into pairing mode, which is absolutely crazy. Most earbuds have the ability to hold them down for like maybe five seconds and then boom they go into pairing mode these no you have to literally go and unpair or turn off all the devices that you recently connected to otherwise they'll just go and connect to them and then you'll be sitting there just trying to pair them for a half an hour like i just did and i had to literally go downstairs and unpair it from my tv where my wife was watching and clicking no do not connect <laughs> so jbl big fail um for that but nonetheless we're going to get into this workout we're going to be doing all kinds of different movements uh, we're going to do some cardio we're going to do some crossfit we're going to do some weight lifting and we're going to really put these things to the at-home gym workout test slash gym workout test so let's jump into that people Wow, just finished a great workout. These things definitely locked into place. I didn't really have to adjust them that much. Uh, maybe a few turns back up here or there, uh, but definitely very, very solid. Zero glitches. I was absolutely amazed. Um, I was moving all over the place, as you guys saw from the time lapse. Big, big thumbs up. Definitely passed the at-home workout test with the noise canceling on and the music going in the background of the workout. I could not hear anything, so definitely if you're in the gym, you're going to pass uh, you're, they're gonna pass with flying colors. You're not gonna hear the people around you, which is awesome. So noise canceling is amazing. The ability to sync up is amazing. Can't say no. All right, we're gonna be doing some mowing, trimming, and blowing. We're gonna put these things to the noise canceling test to figure out are they gonna cancel out the noise around you so when you're mowing, you can listen to your podcast, your music, or whatever you're gonna be listening to. We're gonna be trimming with this electric mower down here. It is electric, but it definitely is loud enough to warrant noise canceling earbuds. Okay, just finished mowing, trimming, and blowing. These things definitely locked into place. They definitely canceled out the noise. I'm not going to give them five out of five stars. I'm going to give them four out of five stars. I could still hear some of the trimmer noise, some of the mower noise. Um, so high, high pitch sounds. It didn't really block out, but for the most part, I was able to listen to a podcast and then switch over to music. These things definitely perform the best when you're listening to some good music people. So definitely passed the mow test, just not with flying colors. Okay, here we go. We're going to be doing the noise canceling test. So this is my shop back right here. This thing is screaming loud, people. I am not kidding you. It is so loud. I'm going to turn that thing on and then I'm going to talk to camera. And if you can hear my voice, then that's a thumbs up. That means we passed the test. If it's, if you can't hear my voice at all, that's a thumbs down. And if it's kind of, you can hear my voice, then that is a neutral. So let's jump into this. All right, three, two, one. Okay, so this is the loudest thing that I own. I seriously think that there's something wrong with it. It is screaming, screaming loud, truly louder than anything I have in my house. Um, my voice usually has a decent amount of bass tones to it, so if you hear any of that during this talk right now, then that means this thing is doing a phenomenal job. This will give you a good understanding if you're making a phone call and you're outside and you're around a lot of construction work, you're on an airplane, you're in a subway. This will help you understand whether the person on the other end is going to hear you or they're going to hear a bunch of noise around you. All right, I've been using this bad boy for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review and let's just start off with this case. So I really have to say that the case did not grow on me at all. Um, I still found myself 
digging my finger over in this area to pull out the earbuds, uh, still knocking my finger up here. It's just, and you kind of bump it also from the back. It's just not the best case out there. And I really want to show you exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about the previous tune earbuds. So this case, the lid sits all the way back out of the way. You have full access to the earbud and you can just see the size is um, in favor of this. You also have the ability to set this down like that versus the new one is kind of more like a pebble and it wants to be set down just like this. So um, I definitely would prefer this case. It's a little bit more grippy. This is a little bit smoother. I didn't drop it or feel like I was gonna drop it like I thought I would, um, but there you go. That is just a quick size comparison, quick shape comparison between the old model and the new one. So once you get the earbuds out of this slightly annoying case, you notice right away that these are upgraded for sure. The ability to go into the app and customize your sound profiles and customize your button pressing is awesome. That is so cool. The app is super, super simple to use. The noise canceling on here is truly next level. It's definitely been upgraded from the previous uh, tunes for sure. Um, the microphones on here are absolutely amazing. And then once you get inside and you get to the sound drivers, these sound drivers in here are extremely good quality. Found them to be pretty, pretty amazing. So all in all, I'm going to say that these are definitely a great buy. If you're looking for a good pair of earbuds that aren't going to break the bank, they're not over $100. You can get them sometimes on sale for $50 like I did. Um, definitely worth the money. The build quality is solid. They're not premium by any mean. You're not going to look at these things and go, wow, those are sculpted like the gods, but they are going to last. They're going to take some hits and keep on going. They're nice and grippy. They have a really solid handle right here. We can grab them and put them in the ear and adjust them. They do fall out a little bit more than I would like. So if you're someone who's an avid runner, you're going to go running every day in these. I would say skip these and go with something else. Uh, the weight is just off. It's, it's not balanced right and it's a little bit top heavy. So they will slowly work their way uh, down and then out a little bit like that so they don't like to stay as you put them so there are better earbuds out there for running because they'll stay in place um, but all in all i'm going to say these are solid 4.95 yes people i'm giving these a 4.95 they're basically perfect earbuds minus the case and the fact that they fall out of your ear but the sound quality is absolutely amazing the bass quality is absolutely amazing the noise canceling is next level you're going to be blown away at how well they cancel out the noise Definitely worth your time, worth your money, and worth your listen. Bye. Um. All right, there you go. That's the JBL Tune Buds. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 8K. Yes, people, on my way to 10K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Old model and the new one.